Hello everyone, welcome back to Home and School. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of Foundations of Science Earth um, by Tan Academy. <music> So this is Foundations of Science Earth. Um, it's by Tan Academy, which is a Catholic publishing company. They recommend this for about third, fourth, fifth grade, somewhere in there. It's definitely, it's definitely more at that level. I actually used this with my seven-year-old and five-year-old this year, and we kind of just used it as, as our spine for the whole year. Um, we just read bits and pieces of it here and there as we were going through all sorts of earth science topics. So it comes with the textbook and then you can also get the workbook. So I'll do a flip through of both for you. I haven't seen this a lot on YouTube, so I'm hoping that, you know, this will be helpful for some people out there that were wondering what it looks like inside. And it has absolutely beautiful pictures in the textbook. So you'll see the contents, you have 12 chapters, um, which wouldn't be quite enough for an entire year if you were only using this. Um, it would probably take just about a half a year. So we go over Spaceship Earth, the Earth in Motion, Physical Geography and Landforms, the Atmosphere, Water Cycle, Weather, Climate, Nutrient Cycling, um, like Nitrogen Cycle and stuff, and then the biomes, so various habitats, tropical, temperate, extreme habitats, and then the last chapter is on conservation. And like I said, it has gorgeous pictures you'll see as I go through. So chapter one, Spaceship Earth. Look at that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Let me talk about Earth structure. Then chapter two, the earth in motion. So you see the chapters are relatively short. Um, now we're talking about tectonic plates, volcanoes, how mountains are formed. And I love how they always bring in some saints that have contributed to science. Geography and landforms. So now we're talking about weathering and erosion various types of landforms, longitude and latitude, now the atmosphere, layers of the atmosphere, now we're, the water cycle, precipitation, climate, this one was cool, it was like a little interview with a scientist, now we're talking about the nitrogen cycle and the carbon cycle, desert, tundra, forest, grasslands, Tropical and temperate habitats. Extreme habitats. And then conservation, pollution, climate change, habitat loss, and doing our part for the world. At the end, it has some amazing facts about the Earth. It's a few pages of cool facts. And then very, and then we have also the key terms throughout the book. see actually on the very back page these are the various volumes um I don't think these ones are out quite yet 
I'm not sure, but I know that for sure that they have animals, plants, space, and oceans definitely out, and of course, Earth as well. So that is a glimpse at the textbook. And you can take a look at the workbook here. You'll probably see some of my son's writing and coloring. <laughs> and it kind of it follows the same contents as the textbook. Has some of the same pictures, just in black and white. Um, there's always this science journal page um, at the beginning for each chapter, and there's always this page that show has some questions for the kids to answer. So my favorite part of the chapter, new thing I learned, some questions I want to ask, one interesting thing I saw in nature this week, and then they usually have some sort of workbook type pages like fill in the blanks, um, coloring, mazes. We did a volcano this chapter. What was this chapter? The earth, the earth in motion. Oh yeah, so that was the tectonic plates and the volcano and stuff. And there is, there are also activities and instructions for some activities as well. Matching. Another activity here. The layers of the atmosphere. So weather now, the word search, answer the questions, another activity, make a rain gauge, interview a meteorologist, multiple choice, Um, nutrient cycling, we got a fun maze again, understanding the three spheres. We're not finished with this year yet, so like I said, we've been we've been piecing various things throughout this. We've used some of the activities in here and then some of my own. Um So these are like animals and plants within their, their various biomes, their habitats, and the last chapter, conservation. Again, you also have the amazing facts about our Earth in the workbook. Key terms also in the workbook. And then at the very back, you also have the answer key for the workbook for parents. So that's what um, Foundations of Science Earth comes with from Tan Academy. Um, I believe you can also view um, videos that go along with this on their website. You can purchase and download or stream. Um, I don't remember which, but you can use their videos as well to go along with this. Um, like I said, it's a good, if you're using only this, it's good for um, a semester probably, like half the year. If you used it like we did. We used it as your spine for the whole year. Um, and I added lots of other things and, and science books from the library and stuff like that to it. Um, we also add a little bit more about geology to this because I felt like that was missing a little bit. Um, and I wanted more of that this year, but I didn't want to buy a whole nother curriculum, you know, all on geology. So I added some stuff in with that, but this has been good. Um, I think my favorite thing of it is is the pictures. The pictures are absolutely beautiful. So I hope this is helpful for anybody out there looking at Foundations of Science from Tan. Um, let me know any questions down below. And thanks for joining me today. See you next time.